U.S. Department of Justice attorney work product may contain material protected under Fed R. Crim P. 6E. Papadopoulos' message came at a time when Clovis perceived a shift in the campaign's approach toward Russia. From one engaging with Russia through the NATO framework and taking a strong stance on Russian aggression in new Ukraine, grand jury blacked out. Clovis' response to Papadopoulos, however, did not reflect that shift. Replying to Papadopoulos and the other members of the foreign policy advisory team copied on the initial email, Clovis wrote, this is most informative. Let me work it through the campaign. No commitments until we see how this plays out. My thought is that we probably should not go forward with any meetings with the Russians until we have had occasion to sit with our NATO allies, especially France, Germany, and Great Britain. We need to reassure our allies that we are not going to advance anything with Russia until we have everyone on the same page. More thoughts later today. Great work. C. March 31, Foreign Policy Team Meeting. The campaign held a meeting of the Foreign Policy Advisory Team with Senator Sessions and candidate Trump approximately one week later on March 31st, 2016 in Washington, D.C. The meeting, which was intended to generate press coverage for their campaign, took place at the Trump International Hotel. Papadopoulos flew to Washington for the event. At the meeting, Senator Sessions sat at one end of the, an oval table while Trump sat at the other. As reflected in the photograph below, which was posted to Trump's Instagram account, Papadopoulos sat between the two, two seats to Sessions' left. During the meeting, each of the newly announced foreign policy advisors introduced themselves and briefly described their areas of experience or expertise. Papadopoulos spoke about his previous work in the energy sector and then brought up a potential meeting with Russian officials. Specifically, Papadopoulos told the group that he had learned through his contacts in London that Putin wanted to meet with candidate Trump and that these connections could help arrange that meeting. Trump and Sessions both reacted to Papadopoulos' statement. Papadopoulos and campaign advisor J.D. Gordon, who told investigators in an interview that he had a crystal clear recollection of the meeting, have stated that Trump was interested in and receptive to the idea of meeting with Putin. Papadopoulos understood Sessions to be similarly supportive of his efforts to arrange a meeting. Gordon and two other attendees, however, recall that Sessions generally opposed the proposal, though they differ in their accounts of the concerns he voiced or the strength of the opposition he expressed. D. George Papadopoulos learns that Russia has dirt in the form of Clinton emails. Whatever Sessions' precise words at the March 31 meeting, Papadopoulos did not understand Sessions or anyone else in the Trump campaign to have directed that he refrain making further efforts to arrange a meeting between the campaign and the Russian government. To the contrary, Papadopoulos told the office that he understood the campaign to be supportive of his efforts to arrange such a meeting. Accordingly, when he returned to London, Papadopoulos resumed those efforts. Throughout April 2016, Papadopoulos continued to correspond with, meet with, and seek Russian contacts through Mifsud and at times Polonskaya. For example, within a week of her initial March 24 meeting with him, Polonskaya attempted to send Papadopoulos a text message which email exchanges show to have been drafted or edited by Mifsud. Addressing Papadopoulos' wish to exchange with the Russian Federation. When Papadopoulos learned from Mifsud that Pons Gala had tried to message him, he sent her an email seeking another meeting. Polonskaya responded the next day 
that she was back in St. Petersburg, but would be very pleased to support Papadopoulos' initiatives between our two countries and to meet him again. Papadopoulos stated in reply that he thought a good step would be to introduce him to the Russian ambassador in London and that he would like to talk to the ambassador or anyone else you recommend about a potential foreign policy trip to Russia. Ms. Sud, who had been copied on the email exchanges, replied on the morning of April 11, 2016. He wrote, this has already been agreed. I am flying to Moscow on the 18th for a Valdai meeting, plus other meetings at the Duma. We will talk tomorrow. The two bodies referenced by Mifsud are part of or associated with the Russian government. The Duma is a Russian leg legislative assembly, while Valdai refers to the Valdai Discussion Club, a Moscow-based group that is close to Russia's foreign policy establishment. Papadopoulos thanked Mifsud and said that he would see him tomorrow. For her part, Polanskaya responded that she had already alerted my personal links to our conversation and your request that we are all very excited the possibility of a good relationship with Mr. Trump and that the Russian Federation would love to welcome him once his candidature would be officially announced.